Hey everybody! Thank you so much for watching. Today's lesson, we're going to be working on Adobe Spark and you're going to be creating your very own branded logo. So let me walk you through this process. First things first, you want to make sure that you are logging in on the right hand side at the teacher or student login. So you're gonna go ahead and click on login with school account. If you're using your iPad, you're gonna scroll all the way to the bottom. It's a little bit small, but you're not continuing with Google, you're not logging in with your email. You're gonna to go to the very bottom and in small little print, it says if you have an enterprise account and you're gonna click it. So we're gonna go ahead and click that. Now feel free at any time as you're watching this video to pause and follow along. So if this is going too quickly, you can just pause and come back to it and it'll help you understand where you're going and what you need to do next. Also, if you're a second language learner, meaning if English is not your first language, then you can also use subtitles to help you understand what I'm saying. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in my email address that you're gonna put yours in. And because you're logged in through um, Google, if you're not logged in, it'll ask you to log in. Uh, if you are logged in on your Chrome account, it's gonna take you straight here. So when you're in here, you're gonna to go to the little plus button and it's gonna take you to this little area. And you're gonna scroll all the way to the bottom and you're gonna go create a graphic. So once you're in there, you're gonna start from scratch and you're gonna choose the square icon and you're gonna go next. It's gonna show you a bunch of pictures. Do not click on any of the pictures, go to skip. For this assignment, we're not gonna be using images. Instead, you're gonna be using color, icon, and text. So right off the bat, it gives me a lot of yellow um, for me, yellow is not the color that I would probably choose if I was going to create my logo. I'm gonna pro I'm gonna use um, the colors that I have on my website, which are white, black, and red. And I'm gonna design a little logo. So I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna choose my um, name because you're gonna be using your full name for your logo. So I'm gonna put my name. I'm gonna click there, I'm gonna delete that. I'm gonna move that down. And keep in mind, I'm gonna do a rough one. Yours is gonna look way nicer than mine. Uh, there's a ton of things you can play with. You can play with size, you can play with font, you can play with color and style and effects. Okay, so there's a ton of things that you can work with when you're designing a logo. All right, so I want you to really think about the way that you want things to look because you have a lot of options with what you can do. Um, we're gonna go in, I'm gonna play with colors and there's all kinds of great palettes that you can work off of. So if you wanted it to be monochromatic, you wanted it to kind of stay within one co uh, color scheme, one color scheme, then you might do you know something like that and then go and click there and oh that's too white <laughs> you would go in and you could change the backgrounds and have suggested colors okay like you can really really play around with this and then you're gonna go here and you're gonna add an icon so in this case I want teach and I will go like that And I would choose a little icon and I would play around with it. And you, I want you to really think about this. Stuff. Don't do it so quickly. Put some thought into what you want to have. Um, I would definitely have more than one color because you're going to need a palette when you're designing the brand that we're going to do in the next post. In my next, uh, which I'll, I'll do in my next video. But you're going to want to play around with that. Now, just to give you some ideas, now keep in mind, I'm gonna show you some ideas, but these were created by my fourth graders that I taught last year at the other school that I was working at. So imagine what you can do when these are what fourth graders were making, okay? So um, I particularly like, so 
amazed by them because this, their personalities really came out in their, um, in their, in their, I, the icons that they chose and the um, design that they put together. Um, because for the most part, I mean, look at this one, the student Nicholas, how he's broken up the words and used uh, icon in it. It's pretty phenomenal. So, you know, think about what your interests are, what you're most passionate about. Put that into what you create for your logo. This is something that you're going to be using a lot. I want you to be proud of it. I want you to be able to use it, not just for this class, but in general for things that you create. Um, remember, you can also go to colorlovers.com. And Color Lovers is really cool. It has all these different palettes that you can uh, look at and it shows you colors and you can browse palettes and there's literally thousands of colors that you could be choosing from. So if colors are something that you're interested in looking more into, you can um, ha have those help you uh, get inspired. So I want you to get going. You can watch this video again if you need, but you are gonna be creating your logo today.